recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. Yeah, they gave me two lollipops. It's really, really brave. Yeah, you told me that out in the parking lot. I think that's sweet, and I think that's cool that you were really brave because that was a hard, going under the knife, that's a hard deal. Yeah, it was hard. I said, before I go under the knife, would you mind if I say the sailor's prayer? Mm-hmm. And I said, sure, most people do that. And so <laughs> most, people. most people do that. And I said, if I die on the waves tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and it was six or seven minutes of that. It's a long, it's a long prayer. It's like a ballad. That's sweet. And yeah. they're just standing there yeah. kind of bowing their heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very silent, you know, moment of silence for the fallen sailors. And I said, yeah. okay, I'm ready. And they ethered me. Yeah, I've heard they're starting to do that again. Yeah, they're, it's they're actually it safer. Back. Yeah. It's much safer. You stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, what are you just totally incapacitated with just a little bit of ether? Just a little bit, and you're out like a light. And then they, yeah, they just numb different parts of your body, kind of play around with you like a marionette. <laughs> and just position you in different ways. And, take and you're doing trees. the sailor's prayer. Are they adjusting a little bit when you're doing the sailor's prayer? Yeah, they're prepping and the... Yeah, they bring in the CEO normally to sit there and watch. Um, of the hospital? Yeah. St. David's. Were St. You up David's. At St. David's? Yeah. yeah, I was at St. Dave's. That guy's cool. He's kind of cool. I think he used to be in, he he ran some malls or something. Yeah. Malls were real popular. Yeah, he ran Mall of America, I think, for six or seven years. Yeah. And for anybody listening, that is, in fact, the biggest mm-hmm. mall that's ever been constructed in the United States. It's the biggest man-made mall. Yes. But there's bigger um, natural occurring malls. Yep. They there's, have some underground. Yes. They have some places underground. Grant, why'd you bring your dog in here today? It's really... Uh, my dog. He's biting my toes. Yeah, Grant. I'm sorry. I'm wearing my Birkenstocks. Am I not allowed to bring my dog in here? No, I mean, your dog's going to the bathroom now under here. He can't come if he bites my toes. Yeah. Oh. And Grant, what's going on? There's new uh, I have new headphones here because they're falling out of my ears already. Those <laughs> other ones were bad. These are worse. So I don't know <laughs> whose idea this was. Like the other ones weren't really that good. And these do you, are. Do you need the ones that have like the the little rubber thing at the end? The rubber suction like, cup. Nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Who's, well, whose yeah. ears have these been in? Did somebody ask for these specifically and they're ju- that you just left them in here? I mean, I didn't know that you were going to notice right away, but yeah, those are not the same. Earbuds. You didn't think I would notice. They're a different color. <laughs> they don't have the grip at the end. They work fine. <sighs> you have good ears for them. There's no suction, dude. Yeah, I mean, they're falling out. Oh. <sighs> How was your Thanksgiving, Grant? It was good. Just to, just hung out here. Who cut the bird? No bird. I didn't. I did all sides what? this year. I, I did all sides. Just potatoes and gravy. Ooh, <laughs> yes. I like that. Kind. That's about it. And popcorn and jelly beans, like Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really didn't have a bird. No. Brent? No. Whose idea was that? Yours or your wife? <laughs> it was hers, and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, don't go along with it next year. Your girls are going to see you're the weak person in the relationship. Grant, oh, they're going to walk on. all over your ass later on. Be it, careful. It's oh. too late for that already. Don't say that. Mm-hmm. You, there's still time. Always time. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. We have a bunch of callers. We love you. <laughs> yeah, we want your children to respect you. We want your wife to respect you. You have to lay down the law sometimes. It's Thanksgiving. You have a bird on Thanksgiving. Yeah, you got to have the bird. And you cut that bird. Nobody touch it. You say, nobody touch my bird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you have to let them know who is in charge on Thanksgiving in your house, Grant. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm, I'm taking notes. 
And I'm also looking for a good picture of a turkey for you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. That's all we were <laughs> pretty much asking for when we, <laughs> Casey brought up bird. We were just hoping you would immediately do that. Okay, yeah, Casey, should we uh should we talk to some yeah, people? Yeah, jump in, see what's up with with the the people Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yeah, there could be a couple speed rounds. There could be a couple lightning rounds. Yeah, let me rounds. know if you guys want speed rounds. Yeah, we'll keep it on the docket. See what these freaks are up to. Yeah. A couple speed rounds, a couple lightning rounds, a couple... Mm. <laughs> what was that? We watched some weird video on YouTube last night. Dumb workers getting fired or whatever mm-hmm. the hell was it? <laughs> drunk at work, getting fired. Yeah, drunk at work. Drunk Karen gets owned at work by undercover boss. Do we have the audio working for you? What kind of hat is that? A grizzly bear? He's gone. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? You're there. Where's your audio? Talk to me, pimp. This guy looks drunk at work. Yeah, he's This guy's him. drunk at work. Let's see if he keeps his job or not. He's sauced. Are we going to have to just drop him? Where'd he go? We're going to cut you loose, pal. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, kind of sad. We might have to. I mean, he was getting his hat prepared. He was putting his hat on. That was a pretty cool-looking hat. He was in some sort of a warehouse. He seemed all excited. <laughs> yeah, dressed Very like Paddington sad. Bear. It is sad. Oh, It'll man. It'll never happen again. Uh, he he dropped on his own. All right. <laughs> Admirable. Yeah, that's well, okay. If you drop on your own, that's okay. Grant, if you're dropping people, if the new guy's dropping people. Bryce? Yeah, Bryce. Why was he wearing that Dracula cape earlier? That seemed weird. It's not even, it's not, it was past Thanksgiving. It's not even close to Halloween anymore. We had a pimp named Slickback, and now we have. It looked uh, like he slept in the office last night. Yeah. This is Vince the Viking. Oh my gosh, Vince. Hey, Vince. What's up? How are you? Good. Long time no talk, Will. <laughs> Tell me about it. Holy shit. I mean, it's how many days has it been since Thanksgiving? I mean, oh, God. Well, Thanksgiving uh, 93, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I didn't think you remembered that, Vince, but yeah, no, that hell of a time. It was fun. <laughs> 30 years ago today. Yeah, 30 years ago today, Vince and I were hanging out. Uh, uh oh, Vince, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's <laughs> he was stuck in a really smiling position. Vince, why are you going? What happened in that house? Why are you leaving that house? <laughs> uh, I, I, now I'm stuck laughing. <laughs> oh, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Um, I was actually rocking my son to sleep for his nap, and um, right when we got connected, and so uh, I called my wife in so we could swap out. <laughs> That's sweet. How old's your son now? He's 17 months. I thought you were about to say 17, 17 years old. Years old. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he was 17 years old, you would rock him to sleep by playing the electric guitar. Yup. You'd fucking rock him to sleep, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Would you just get in an airplane? <laughs> He's not an RV. That's <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. Please. So, so um, yeah. Full disclosure, that's not my house. That wasn't my wife or child, and this is actually where I live. Yikes. Fair enough. Well, we appreciate your honesty. Yeah, that was the first time somebody was actively leaving a... Since we've started doing this, nobody's actively been leaving a residence. So we were... We immediately were curious. It looked like I was leaving a crime scene, huh? Uh, A little bit. Yeah. Looks suspicious. Yeah. But it's okay. How is it in there today? Super chill, man. Super chill. I'm glad we got connected. Uh, we we used to uh, we used to chat back and forth when you were um, in LA. We used to hang out at the comedy store a bit. But um, back w- when you had that podcast with David Lucas, I sent you a rap on Instagram. Do you remember that? Yeah, I think I do. The I'll be honest. Uh, a lot of the comedy store times, d- did you notice? Was I drinking out of my backpack? Did I have my <laughs> vodka sprite in my backpack? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I had that. Probably my key bumps. I was taking in my pocket. Yeah, I had wonderful <laughs> times at the comedy <laughs> store, but sadly, I don't know. I remember a lot, but there's a decent amount I don't remember. But I, 
I do remember you and I having absolutely lovely conversations out oh, yeah. at television. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, in the bathrooms. You were actually <laughs> this guy was actually selling me cocaine sometimes. No way. He was in the BMW that would pull up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there would Sorry, be that's some... me. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take this. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, Vince, did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Did you have it where you currently, uh, did you have it in there? Yeah, yeah, right here. You know, just hosted the whole family in this RV. Yeah. <laughs> Bad move. <laughs> yeah. Classic no, no, yeah. yeah, it was a kick-ass time, man. Had some smoked turkey. Um, cool, yeah. that sounds good. Grant did not have turkey this year do you think that's a good idea do you think that's a bad idea do you think he should stand his ground what do you think <laughs> no bird stand your ground man i mean it's like most of the time it's dry and disgusting and, and tasteless um you, you gotta somebody really needs to know what they're doing you know to make it actually palatable totally you have to know what's going on when you're making your turkey i mean you can mess it up in so many ways Hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, so so I want to throw this at you. If you're um, if you're if you're interested in hearing this, you, you and David were doing like rap battles back and forth like years ago. Do you remember that? On your yes, podcast? yes, I totally, I do remember that. Yes. Okay, so I I, I wrote one and sent it to you. Um, and Did I do it? Were you the person? No. Somebody was okay. Okay. No, I was I was fucking hoping. I think I think you said you were gonna do it, and then and then you guys kind of you know the podcast fizzled away or whatever but yeah we're not bringing uh, that one up holy <laughs> shit we're not bringing yeah. that up right now i mean it was just thanksgiving <laughs> yeah trying to be thankful brother <laughs> yeah i'm not trying yeah. to have nightmares tonight so yeah do you want to hear it <laughs> yeah i'd love to sweet okay um I, I can't really drop a beat so this is gonna be acapella but um you want me to drop one for you <laughs> yeah, yeah casey could yeah <laughs> let's do it maybach music <laughs> <laughs> you better go a cappella. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm backing out of the bit. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and step back from this bit real quick. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Take it. Cool. Yeah. And, you know, feel free to free to cut this out if, if you need to because uh, it's a little racy at the end. Not racist, just racy. Fair um, enough. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes the two are one and the same. All right. Anyway, yeah. here we go. You. All right, uh, get lit, get ready. My best ever seti. My brother Vance never eats all his spaghetti. I'm sick of this shit. I've had enough. Uh, I got a lot riding on this motherfucker. Memphis, that's the place that I was born in and where I laid to rest my friend Tony Chin. He's no longer with us, so let's give it up for that oriental piece of shit and drink up. Uh. Damn. Pretty good. Damn. Pretty, good. Pretty racy. At Who the at end. the end? Yeah, at the <laughs> end. Yeah. You bringing up Oriental. That was, I was a little horrified. I'm thinking Grant's going to have that too to. Far? <laughs> that was great. Who were you rapping about? Who is that? That's that's you, man. It was, I'm I, kidding. I no, like a, I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah. I wonder where Tony <laughs> Chin is. I don't know where that, I don't know where he is. Yeah. Who Who does, man? The jury's out. Yeah, jury's still out on that guy. Mm -hmm. We're still reading the docket on that one. <laughs> a lot of it, we've done freedom of information <laughs> requests. It's not coming out quite yet. Yeah, it's like who's yeah. in charge of letting go of these documents when you get on? Yeah, when you get online, when you're requesting these documents, who's saying? Who's the gatekeeper on that? I don't know. Yeah, tough to say. These are these are the questions, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know those those with which have no answers. <laughs> Tell me about it. I can't even stand it. Um, well, Vince, it was so wonderful to talk to you. The rap was wonderful. Very good. The rap was wonderful. I love that you are in your airplane right now <laughs> at the end of a cul-de-sac or something. Um, well, thank you so much for calling in. We totally appreciate it. Yeah, man. Nice talking to you guys. What are you about to eat tonight? Oh, God, I don't know. I haven't even thought that far ahead. I'm on West Coast, so dinner's a little far away from... Oh, so it's, almost, it's like lunch. It's lunch time there right now. What is it, noon? Yeah, yeah. What's for lunch? Yeah, What's it's for... like, uh, yeah, it is noon. Exactly, 12.03. Yeah. What's for lunch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I just ate a pear. What Ooh. the fuck's going on out there? 
<laughs> yeah. Wait, West Coast West eating Coast. the pear. Your oh my gosh, Hang was it a good one? Hey, yeah, man, it was. It was pretty good. Nice, ripe, uh, juicy red pear. Red pear. Um, yeah, Woo. no complaints, man. Jeez. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I do have to highly recommend something. I started what it's called Please. wheat bran. What is it, Erica? Uh, Kellogg. All brand. Kellogg's all brand buds. buds. It looks like rabbit food, but I swear to you, I took four legitimate shits yesterday. <laughs> like legitimate. I don't know how yeah. all that stuff was inside of me. It kind of scared me, but I had another bowl earlier. You just put the blueberries on top, have some skim milk with it. I highly recommend. Cleans you right out. I swear. I'm a I'm a firm believer in Kellogg's all brand buds. <laughs> It was like so solid bowel movements or, or oh, yeah. what are we talking? It's so interesting question. It's one of those that it looks <laughs> like it's solid, but when you flush it, you can kind of tell by how it looks that it's probably not fully solid, but it looks solid in there. It's not like it's spraying out of my butt or yeah. anything. It's it's coming out solid, but then when you flush it, it'll start swishing around. And But it passes the look test. I mean, if you're just yes. glancing at it, it's going to get you passed. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good, right? I think that's yeah. good. You guys should bust out the the Bristol stool chart sometime and uh, hang out in your bathroom. It's like a list of numbers one through six or something, and then uh, it, it tells you basically where your where your bowel movement is on the spectrum of like diarrhea to uh, you know a red brick. Yes. What is the highest one? Just super solid. Rabbit pellets. <laughs> rabbit pellets. Yeah, it's rabbit pellets. Yeah. yeah. The, the the Orion method. <laughs> The sh Chicago style, <laughs> <laughs> independent, <laughs> and then of course liquid green apple. Yeah, liquid green apple, oh, one of the when best. You're sick. <laughs> that's when you're liquid sick. pear. Yeah, liquid. Is pear. The Bristol chart. Who's Bristol? Yeah, who is that? <laughs> that's a good, good question. That's another one of those questions. <laughs> Are you a doctor? No, nobody will ever know. Are you a doctor? No, not yet. Not yet. No. Are you gonna be? Yeah, I'm actually a PhD student. <laughs> what are you studying? Um, like energy economics, environmental economics, that kind of stuff. Wow. Hmm. So are you for yeah. or against Native Americans? <laughs> <laughs> Love them. Cool. Good with me? me it too. checks out, yeah. Custer's last stand, were you uh, yeah. when they mm -hmm. scalped them? Wounded me. Wounded oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, that, that did happen, yeah. yeah. I, I can can confirm that the Native Americans are real. Yes, they got Custer. They got his him. last stand. They took him down finally. Yeah, they got his ass. <laughs> um, all right, Vince. Well, very nice to talk to you. Think yeah, something good for too, dinner man. tonight. Think Will do. Good. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Have a uh, great day. See ya. I spent. Uh, I watched Hostels with Christian Bale maybe two days ago, and I spent three hours googling how hard is it to learn uh, Navajo. <laughs> and I was going to learn Navajo, and they were like, phonetically, Navajo is one of the single hardest languages to learn. So Damn. I was like, they talked me out of it. Damn. What is that? Wind talkers? Yeah, that is that a movie where they're yeah. What is it called? Is it Wind Talkers? I don't know. Windbreakers? Not Windbreakers. Yeah, Windbreakers. A satirical <laughs> take on it. Yeah, <laughs> like Spaceball. Uh, Grant, I'm we're ready. Here. I'm here. Whoa! Oh my gosh! And he's in front of a f a green sc a flag. <gasps> the, the Masons. Masons. <laughs> the Masons. Oh yeah. Are we speaking with somebody who's in the Masons? Are you in the Masons? Um, I am level like fifty six. Damn, that's pretty. That's getting on up yeah. there. I think that's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty powerful up there for a guy your age. You're moving along pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, Chad, how old are you? I'm twenty six, actually. Great age. I think perfect yeah. age for that level. Perfect. 26. Dude, you got the whole world mm -hmm. in front of you. You can choose any path with them or any other organization or whatever, dude. You got the whole world in front of you right now. <laughs> it took like $50,000 to get here. Are you pay your way in? 
Pay your way in. Pay for play. Pay for play. That's why a lot of people don't do the Masons anymore because it's pay for play. But yeah. I, we respect people like you that mm -hmm. continue to do it. It's kind of similar to Scientology where you have to pay. Yeah. That, that reminds me, you know, I was thinking about things that, uh, firstly, I'm so gl I'm glad to be here. Holy shit. It's so nice to, for you to be here. Happy I mean, it's post Thanksgiving. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know how it was going to go today. I really yeah. was worried. I mean, after Thanksgiving, that's such a huge high. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade was pretty good, other than a couple of the balloons were deflated in weird spots, yeah. which I didn't understand <laughs> that. Oh, this is the one year I didn't watch it. I typically would. Oh, you missed a doozy, dude. Snoopy was looking good. Yeah, Snoopy was looking fine. <laughs> but you know what I have to show you guys real quick? Huh. I brought it up just to get it ready. What? Oh, it's blending right in. Oh, look at those little tasties. <laughs> <laughs> Autographed by the man himself. It is, dude. Ooh -wee. I, I'm in, uh, I got it in Houston when you were at Rudyard's a couple weeks ago, Casey. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was a blast. Oh, thanks, man. That's so funny. I That's was, wonderful. I, looking real thick. Looking big. Damn. Yum. I was, uh, you were handing it out. And I was right in the front row and my girlfriend was with me. And you kind of handed it in between me and this other table, but away from me towards my girlfriend. <laughs> and I was like, grab it. <laughs> she got it. Back but in security. That was an amazing show and everybody was so funny. I was losing my shit the whole time. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I tried to bring uh, really fun people. Yeah, I think Sam Prickett and Ryer Cameraman. They were great people on that one. That was great. Thanks, man. Ryer made me feel like I was tripping while listening. She's so funny. Yeah, Ryer's hilarious. Yeah. I saw her last night a little. She was so funny. Mm -hmm. She broke the and couch in here. Yeah, she broke the couch. She was the one guest. We had the Zach I, ass guy in here who's 800 pounds, <laughs> and then little Ryer breaks the couch. <laughs> I, listened, I listened to that episode like a long time. Maybe it was just her. I don't know if it was both her and the other guy, but, uh, then she came up on uh, Rudyard's, and I was like, oh, that's who that is. Mm -hmm. I never had a face with a name, but man, what did you guys eat for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I hope Ooh, what didn't I eat? I had some sort of red meat at one point. Pretty good. Erica and I made these wonderful pecans with like you put cinnamon and sugar and some spicy stuff Ooh. on it a little bit i swear it was wonderful i have been i have to be careful i think i'm getting diabetes yeah i have been eating so many sweets recently <laughs> i cannot stop and my hands start tingling and my legs start feeling mm -hmm. weird i'm 100 percent giving myself diabetes <laughs> i have got to stop pre-diabetes <sighs> good I night on a receipt the other week <laughs> Like a ton of Reese's eggs. Whoa. Uh, I was like, you had them over for, or you had them since Easter? Are those the ones you get for Easter? They're probably pretty old, brother. Oh, yeah. I think no, we were at a Halloween party. There were a bunch of eggs at the Halloween party. So I was just sitting by the bowl, chatting up people and snacking on eggs the whole <laughs> just time. Just chowing down on some eggs. It's hard oh, to yeah. stop once you start. And I highly recommend in regards to Reese's right now the Nutcracker. They have little nutcracker-shaped Reese's. I swear the ratio of peanut butter and chocolate on the nutcracker Reese's right now are wonderful. <laughs> it's kind of a complex shape. It is. To be a, it's yeah. quite the mold they created. <laughs> it looks like a miniature nutcracker. Can it's I tell cool. you guys uh, a Scientology story from the other week? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spill yes. the beans oh. on that. Uh, around Halloween, I was in LA and we were walking around Hollywood Boulevard area and there's a Scientology center there and me and my friend were like, he needs to use the bathroom. There's not really a public restroom anywhere around there. So we see a sign out in front that says free personality test. And I was like, all right, well, let's go in here. You can use the bathroom. We'll take a little personality test. <laughs> As so we you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get it there. And, um, you know, it's already weird from the get go. This is not our first, this is my third time visiting a Scientology center just for fun because, you know, good times. 
And yeah, uh, third, like, that's yeah. a pretty good amount. <laughs> I lived by a couple and I never walked in. I was always a little too scared or so. I just never yeah. walked in. I lived right by some on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, well, maybe that was could have been the same one, but I went to the one in Amsterdam, the one in Houston, and then the one in Hollywood. All okay, very quit bragging, dude. Yeah, Holy geez. shit, Chad. <laughs> the big three. <laughs> like uh, Scientology Scientology tourism is what it really comes down to. <laughs> For sure. But anyway, we take, uh, we're like, let's take the personality test. She's like, cool. It's about 200 questions. We're like, all right, we can. Uh, so they take us to sit down, fill out the whole test. And she's like, okay, and after you guys are going to take an IQ test as well. And we're like, eh, not doing that. And she's like, all right. What was well, like an example of a question on the personality <laughs> test? 200 questions. Uh, I'm trying to think of this one about suicide that was very confusing. That was like, it's either, <laughs> I don't know how to answer it. Because I feel like if I answer it my way, they're going to be like, oh, he's completely suicidal. <laughs> but I'm not. Would yeah. suicide feel good? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, guess, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he oh got no, it. Chad! <laughs> He's going I'm up to heaven. Uh, <laughs> they were taking you, brother. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank God. There yeah, it looks like you were getting taken up, dude. There we go. All right. Yeah. And, and um. Anyway, we get our personality test graded. Then another woman comes up, and she's like, "All right, we're gonna go." To no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, we're not doing that. What? Gr hey. Oh, hello. We lost you, Chad. We missed that part of your story. Chad, man. yes. You're, we're getting to the sauciest part, <laughs> and we can't even hear you. Oh, my god. They're gosh. shutting your ass down. Working now. I just tried to open the bandwidth by the Wi-Fi. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, the Scientologists have gotten I on know. the mainframe and are making it so you can't talk. <laughs> they hacked so she said, let's go do the IQ test. We're like, no. She said, oh, why? And I said, because we don't want to do it. We have to go do some music stuff in a little bit. And she's like, <laughs> oh, what do <laughs> And we're like, we have to go to the studio. And she's like, well, what time do you have to go to the studio? And we're like, in a little bit. And she's like, so you don't want to take the test? And then they brought us into, we got away from her, and then they brought us into the cubicles where they're talking about our tests. And the guy's talking to me, and there are like some low points on my graph, and he's looking Ooh. at me. Yeah, yeah that, not good. Mm -mm. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm good, dude. I'm what parts fine. of the graph were kind of lower than you would have liked? Um, I think, uh, the thing about suicide, yeah. something about suicide would be down. I'm trying to remember the exact wording that they used, but maybe something about keeping your emotions inside something like that, like <laughs> angering inside. Oh, there's Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Always watching. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Weird experience, but great experience at the same time. And then we used the bathroom, and it was all good. Cool. Well, I'm glad that worked yeah. out. I was worried what was going to happen with the personality test, with the IQ test. There were a lot of places that could have gone haywire, but I'm glad it was all right. And I just wanted to say, I know you guys get 1,000 messages, but I sent you each a little song that I made because you could maybe appreciate it. Disclosure, I do music as a job. <laughs> what's your Instagram? Yeah, what's the what is your it's, Instagram? Uh, I'll I'll spell the username. It's C H A M A N Chaman. 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 <laughs> uh, Chaman Pandit. Chaman Wessel Camper. W E S S. That's kind of a sweet last name, Wessel Camper. Th thigh grease. There it is. Check it out. Cool. Sent, I'll get it from Casey and we'll right. we'll listen. I'll airdrop it to him. He'll yeah. airdrop it. Yeah, with the new uh, thing that just came out. I don't like the update on the phones. Yeah, it's messing up my doodle jump. 
Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, they made him smaller. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right, Chad. Well, very nice to talk to you, my friend. Guys, it is a pleasure, and you are the top. So I appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day. And keep on Thank working you, at the Masons. Keep on. Yeah. You've invested a lot. Keep on doing it. Don't stop now. I'll be in Austin uh, beginning of December and mid-December to play at that place, Monk's Jazz Club. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. Done some shows there. Pendernales. Yeah. So if I can, I'm going to try and see what y'all are up to. Cool. Sounds good, dude. Yeah. Shoot me a message. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great right. day. See you, dude. Good to see you. Yeah. He was sweet. That's wonderful. You had that uh, picture. Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. Like yeah. Dick ass it. grimace. Fucking big old butt cheek. Damn. Damn. Looking good, my G. <laughs> 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 Looking good, my savior. Uh, I don't know about you. I'm getting pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm starving. If I don't, if I'm on a 72 hour water fast after that water fast, I'm needing food. Yeah. The only thing I've been eating lately is spaghetti bolognese, and it's making me sick. I'm ready to shake things up. Spaghetti bolognese <laughs> is really good. If I had to eat one thing for a while, that easily would be what I chose. <laughs> yeah, but life, it's about mixing it up and getting something that you're not going to regret eating, and it's actually probably pretty good for you. Yeah, you need variety in your life. You need garden fresh variety in your life. Is that a windy with garden fresh? Garden no, fresh. Yeah, I think they have garden fresh salads there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they still do. Um, but uh, yeah, Hello Fresh. I mean, that has what that's what has kept us to uh, kept us afloat. Mm -hmm. Keeping my head above water this year. Yeah, last year it was okay, but this year it's keeping my head above water, too, because I get hungry, and then I'm like, how's this even going to work out? What do I do? Where do I go? Thankfully, with HelloFresh, it comes right to your door. You don't have to worry about the lines at the grocery store getting ridiculous, and this holiday season, you know it's only going to get worse. Yeah, I mean, we're at the beginnings of the holiday season. Good luck going to the grocery store. <laughs> I don't even, I couldn't even imagine going to a grocery store right now. There are people have COVID again. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's going to be a cesspool. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> save time and skip those crazy lines with Hello Fresh America's number one meal kit. They deliver pre-portioned ingredients and recipes straight to your door so you can get it right to cooking. So you don't even have to go to the grocery store anymore? You don't have to go. You don't have to worry about getting sick and making your Mima sick too. Yeah, because old people, people who are, have predisposed genetic conditions, you get a certain kind of bug, you're dying. You're dead forever. And I'll tell you what doesn't last forever. You can make a meal in 15 minutes, saving you even more time than the time you would spend at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. 15 minutes and with over 45 weekly recipes to choose from and over 100 curated pick curated picks. That's like a line from Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> curated picks from the HelloFresh market. You'll never run out of incredible food to try. They have breakfast, lunch, and snacks that can be delivered along with your weekly box so you never have to stress about what to cook or eat. <laughs> In 15 minutes, 15 plus 100, there's, there's 100 options, plus 15 minutes, minus 15, 85 divided by 2, 42. The average life expectancy of someone who eats HelloFresh is over 100 years old. You're going to live a long, fulfilling life if you start now. If you start now, there is no time to wait, I can assure you. Yeah, because you want to be living over 100, especially the future, and I think about 30 years is going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty awesome. I know some guys in the tech industry, and they are nothing but smiles right now. Yeah, I mean, 30 years down the line, you're going to, and I mean, gosh, I'm 36, so that's like 66, so I have to be really careful right now. I have to start mm -hmm. eating HelloFresh so I can make it to a manageable 66. Yeah, there's no time to waste, my, my dear, dear friend. All I ask of you is that if you're interested in jumping on this lifestyle with us, go to HelloFresh.com slash WMS free and use code WMS free for free 
breakfast for life. <laughs> for life? <laughs> for life. <laughs> oh, I've never even heard of such a thing. <laughs> for, for life? For life. You get one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash WMS. Free. You have to add the free. It's just, mm-hmm. This one isn't just WMS. You have yeah. to add the free for the free breakfast for the rest of your life. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Do not type in WMS expensive. It will double the cost. <laughs> yes. If you type in WMS expensive, you're locked in for life at double the cost. $800 a month. Yes. But WMS free. That's a, that's a really good deal. Free breakfast for life. That's why we eat it. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Granted, you were sweet to bring in these other headphones, but actually maybe these are wonderful. <laughs> They're working out for you? <laughs> they haven't fallen out yet. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, Destiny. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Just trying to survive on this uh, Tuesday, and Casey just had a thing done on his head, so we're praying to the Lord it ends up all right. Look at the bandage on his head. Congratulations. Thank you, Destiny. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> they removed they removed a cyst. It had a little egg inside and they kept it to send to the scientist. Oh, cool. And I saw was the it picture. Like a it was a little is a little Easter rabbit egg. egg. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a little one. It was mm-hmm. a little white egg. Yep. Cool. They said we're gonna make it to a keychain for a hundred dollars. And I said, Will you do seventy oh five? They said yes. I know. I mean, that's why you, this is like the best. You have to remember that you can always. There's always room for bartering <laughs> at the hospital when you need that part of your body. Just know the hospital will go a little bit lower, <laughs> at least a little lower. Normally twenty, twenty five percent. They'll drop. It. Yeah, I was in a bad wreck and they took my kneecap. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Got us>. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were going to sell it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. For real. Damn. That'd be bad just not having your kneecap. Do what? You guys want to guess where I live? Kentucky. Wow, so close. (laughs) I'll say Tennessee. I saw you had a Tennessee shirt on. (laughs) Yes, it's me from Tennessee. Tennessee, where are you? East Tennessee, West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee. Middle. That's where one of the uh, big underground malls is. We were talking Mm. about malls earlier, how Mall of America is the biggest man-made mall in America, but there are a bunch that are in cavern systems, Mm. and I think some are around Middle Tennessee. Yeah, naturally occurring malls. Yeah. There's still Sears in one. Yes, Mm -hmm. Sears is still very active. The escalator is a waterfall. Yes, and yeah. signs are stalagmites yeah. and <laughs> uh, exits are stalactites and yeah, it's real musty. Sure. It stays the same temperature though, luckily. Yes. Good for there. storage. Yes. The shirts never shrink. Keep your gremlins down there. Gremlins. Yeah, gremlins are yep. down there sometimes. Grant, put I some think. gremlins behind them. Grant, throw up some gremlins, please. <laughs> On it. Yeah, Grant, what comes up when gremlin is. <laughs> <laughs> Grimblin, spell it like that, Grimblins. <laughs> yeah, how do you spell Grimblins? I don't have any. Grimblins. Yeah, Grimblins. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my sweet little dog? Yeah, let's see him. Nacho, come here, boy. Nacho. This, this is Nacho. Good oh evening. My, he's gosh. my sweet little dog. He's my sweet little dog. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. sweet. He's wearing oh, something. Gosh, has some sort of. Oh, he's wearing a. He's wearing a a, a hoodie. A <laughs> cut off hoodie. It's cold here. He's got his crop top on. <laughs> he's well, got his crop top on today. <laughs> yeah, we have to keep Nacho <laughs> safe. Little yes. dogs have to have. Gator has all kinds of little outfits, little sweaters, no little no sunglasses. No <laughs> she doesn't like the sunglasses, so Little it's kind of weird. Nacho gets excited and pees. Oh, Nacho. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he gets older, maybe it'll be better. I don't know. Then it'll get he's worse. A, he'll pee probably he's a, more. He's a sweet little chewing. 
Cool, okay. fun mixture of dog, oh, chihuahua, and weenie dog. He's doing he's doing a trick where he sits is, on my neck. He's on your back. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, be careful, please. <laughs> Come here, yeah. my point, <laughs> Yeah, he's just chilling now. Cool. All right. Well, Destiny, it's been so nice to talk to you. I hope everything is going good in Tennessee and keep Nacho safe. It's about to probably start getting best. colder around there. For real. It's so cold here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, keep them very safe. All right, Destiny. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Bye, Town Down. Hey, Town Down. <laughs> <laughs> Who used to, what? Who would say that? Wouldn't Ludicrous, some rapper... right? Yeah. Was it T.I. or Ludicrous? Usher. 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 Hey, turn down. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Atlanta? It looks like you're spelling it. Atlanta? Like you're spelling. Down, down. Let's go Falcons. Falcons. Dirty Hawks. The Dirty Birds. <laughs> yeah, Dirty Birds. <laughs> not Dirty <laughs> Hawks. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> we saw a hawk earlier up on a telephone pole that we were worried would have gotten Gator. Really? A big old hawk. It happened to my friend's dog in Boise. I think I told you guys. His dog was playing in the yard. A little bit bigger than Gator. He turned around, turned back around, dog was gone. No. Eagle took him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Eagle. Seth, Sethra, what's up? What's Seth. happening, guys? Sethra Toll, thick as a brick. Yeah, you look pretty thick, thick a, dude. Thick? Man, I'm skinny as hell, shit. Vulcan Gas Company, are you in Austin right now? No, I'm just a big fan of you guys. I'm actually uh, I'm in Colorado right now. <laughs> oh, nice, hell nice. Yeah. Sounds good. Where are yeah. you? What are you working on? What are you doing? It looks like there's a hard hat behind you. There is. I uh, I'm a construction worker. I work for um, a university up here in Colorado. Oh, cool. What university? Uh, Colorado State, actually in Fort Collins. Oh, cool. Yeah, Fort Collins was fun. I lived in Denver for three years. I remember going up to Fort Collins one time. Did some show where they gave you free drinks, and I drank so many of the espresso martinis. They stopped doing that after the show I was on. <laughs> that was fun. A martini but with, like, espresso shots oh, yeah. in it. Woo! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's a big drinking town for sure. Oh, Tons of beer here. Got a great comedy club up there, the Comedy Fort. Yeah, I've been I've been uh actually messaging all the, all you guys like Cam and Hans and I think I sent you a message William on Instagram trying to get all all kinds of y'all up here to kind of boost the scene up. We never really get a lot of we get a lot of good stuff in Denver, comedy works and all, but well, David I'll, Rodriguez and I, the guy who owns and runs the uh, comedy fort, we have a pretty long standing beef right now. So there ain't oh, no shit. way I would ever step foot in Fort <laughs> Collins. We have a pretty serious, it, it started in 20, I think 2016 in Denver. We had a real big falling out behind one show. He took a swing at me. I ended up doing that thing where you tackle somebody to the ground. Cause I was worried about, he takes a swing. Yeah. I do the tackle thing. I get his ass on the ground. We're spitting on each other. So there's, oh. You got to keep him close. You can't let him kind of get that distance where he could yes. cold clock you. So. Yeah, if you get in a fight or something and Grant can confirm, you just try to form tackle the person. and Head up, shoulders squared, go right for the rib cage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds like y'all have a lot of experience with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We oh, both. Yeah. We both. That was one of our 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 big talking points when we met one another was just the series of fights. We both had a pretty long series of fights in the two thousands and so yeah. we kind of connected on that. Yeah. From Oh six to about 2012. Yeah. We were fighting pretty regularly. It seems like. Yes. And it was so weird cause we were on different coasts. So we didn't necessarily know about each other and the internet wasn't as, is just everywhere like it is now. So it was just hard to know. Yeah. I mean, it was a, Pretty big fighting circuit, but yeah. it was you'd still see similar faces. Yeah, they would have them every week at Uncle Taylor's. Yeah, Uncle Taylor's. Yeah. And right. that guy sadly died. It actually, weirdly <laughs> enough, it got real cold and an icicle hit him when he was leaving the damn back door one night. <laughs> Fell right through his ribs. Have y'all gotten in any brawls on 6th Street? I know that shit's crazy down there. I was just down there for um, the one of the Killed Tonys reason. I think Cam and David Jolly were the guests. Cool, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I didn't realize how crazy that Sixth Street madness is. As soon as you walk out of that club, it's just chaos on the weekends. Like It, it just felt like there was a fight ready to break out at any moment down there. 
<laughs> yeah, and there's some YouTube channel, I think, that shows all the fights. It looks like there's yeah. crazy fights. I generally try to avoid it. I'm not ever really walking on 6th Street. Yeah, no, I'm just not really. Though. I try to stay away. I normally get on, a, you know, one of the scooters and I jet off. I take the long way around in my car. Take the there long you go. way home. Take the long Didn't way. Didn't Jethro home. told yeah. you that song? <laughs> I don't long know, way actually. home. No, I don't think so. Second long way home. <laughs> <laughs> so what are there a lot of fights happening up in Colorado up in Fort Collins? Yeah, what's the scene like? Yeah. Oh, hell no, dude. This everybody's too stoned to get in fights here. Everybody's everybody gets along pretty well. I, I that's what I'd like living here and working here. It seems like everybody's pretty easy to get along with. The medical marijuana. <laughs> Yeah, you guys need to get that going down there, man. I'm surprised Austin or Texas hasn't jumped on board with it. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised. Well, I'm from Mississippi. I grew up there, and it's crazy. I was just there for the holidays, and they have medical dispensaries there now, which is mind-blowing to me. Uh, they always had some big pot farm outside of Ole Miss I remember always hearing about growing up. <laughs> oh, they yeah. Good weed. And yeah, the government get, weed. Yeah, government weed. Yeah, I love smoking weed up in uh, Fort Collins, but it's you have to be so careful, and especially you. Are you are you dealing with heavy equipment? Are you allowed to be being stoned at work? Are you high right now? I am not high right now. I do not smoke. Thank you. Man. Um, but uh, no, I'm an electrician. Actually, we do uh, like all kinds of stuff on campus with like low voltage work with security cameras and fire alarm and AV stuff like that. So it's pretty pretty chill. Maybe you can help me. I Where I live, there's a little code box, and you have to type in some code at night. And whenever I stick my hand out there, I get zapped so horribly. So I now have a lighter that I use to type in the number because I'm so scared of getting zapped. Is there anything I can do to keep the static electricity from getting me? Because I swear, and sometimes there's a car behind me and the freaking lighter is hitting the numbers wrong, so it's so embarrassing. And how, how do I, how do I, huh? Gloves may help. Put on some gloves when you put in the buttons. That could keep you from getting zapped. That's what we usually do whenever we're working on like electricity that could zap us. As long as you're wearing leather gloves or something you could be all right so i gotta get a pair of leather gloves and driving gloves (laughs) like ryan gosling i bet you could find some some really good leather gloves down there bones i could probably make you some shit he he potentially could well he said one time specifically though he's never making gloves again something happened (laughs) something weird happened and he's never making gloves again he can't go back after the accident yep it was bad it was bad i heard what happened Oh my gosh! I shouldn't even talk about it. This is sort of Williams way to talk about it. But. Yeah, no. I mean, he was just—he was making gloves for I think it was Polo Ralph Lauren or something like some pretty mm-hmm. big deal, and uh, the a fire happened at the factory. There was a little factory outside of Austin, and he actually. He leaves the exit door and he puts like this shovel in the door so like the 20 people in the factory couldn't get out. Yeah. (laughs) So (laughs) he got scared, I guess. (laughs) Yeah, he got scared. He got scared. And at that point, it's every man for himself, you know. And he just, he got out. He made sure the 20 people inside (laughs) didn't get out. And it was just like this weird thing. You never looked back, huh? It could have yeah. happened to anybody. <laughs> it's like one of those freak so. accidents. But the lesson is, the lesson is, if you ever are in a fire or something, just leave the door open and, like, yell and tell people you can come out of the door. <laughs> that seems like a trap, though. Would you, would you do that? If somebody was telling you to come through the door, what's on the other side? Good you question. Know. I don't know. I mean, yeah. if the factory's burning down, I probably I would be tempted because I'd be thinking I'm not burning alive in this thing. Yeah. Yeah, but it could be a trap, you know. It, it Maybe they be. set it on fire just yeah. so that they could pull you all into this other room and fuck you up. Just beat the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you're probably not in a fighting mood after you've been inhaling smoke, <laughs> and you're probably pretty not in a good state of mind. Yeah. We would no. do that sometimes when we were fighting. If you got a really if you're going up against a really big guy, you go, Hey, you wanna smell this? And it's a little like burning pile of like maybe leaves or yes, pine leaves straw. Are good. Yes. Pine straw's great. Oh, and it kind of scares him. 
then fucking nail them. Yep. The other like, yeah, what are you talking about? How are you holding that? Yeah. Like, how are you holding that? And then you get it up in their face. <laughs> Boom, bop his ears. Boom. Then form the fires tackle. are like serious thing up here. We had like one of the biggest wildfires in Fort outside of Fort Collins a couple years back. It was like right during the pandemic. You didn't even want to leave the house. You couldn't go nowhere. But then when you walk outside, it was just smoke and ash falling from the sky. It was wildfires are pretty serious up here. What started it? Like a gender reveal party? Don't those things start wildfires? <laughs> some, <laughs> you know, it probably was. They they think that it was. Uh, they trace it back to a campground up in the mountains outside of Fort Collins, and I don't know. I probably somebody started a fire when it was not fire season, and then it just got out of control, and they left it. God. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it was always it's burning. burning in the- well, gets to cool. Me. Well, so nice to talk to you. Be safe up in Colorado. Where are your layers? I will. It's getting cold. We finally got some snow, so I'm getting ready to get up on the mountains, go snowboard this weekend. Where are you going, Beaver Creek? I haven't been to Beaver Creek. I I usually go to Copper Mountain a lot. Oh, yeah, I remember. That. I was a snowmaker at Beaver Creek. Really? Yup. I still don't know how to ski or snowboard, though. But yes, I did it for a a season. It was like, I don't know, 2011, maybe. It was fun. I never learned. I kind of wish I did, but it always scared me. I felt like I was going to mess my knees up or something. But I'm a coward. I'm sure it's fun. but It's a blast. Well, hey, if you guys ever get up to Denver again, you know, for some shows, Comedy Works, uh, come by. I think you were with Tony. I did see you, William, with, uh, you were with Tony when he was last at Comedy Works, right? Yes, it was a lot of fun. It was last January. It was a great show. Yeah, it was such a good show. We were so surprised to see you and Hans opening for him. That was, that was killer. That's but, funny. Yeah, it was my birthday to... week. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was my birthday. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. They have some nice place you can stay right by the it was nice. Nice. Well yeah, if you guys next time if you can tell put up a uh, word in Tony's ear and make it up to Fort Collins. We'd love to have you guys. I know you're not really I know you got the beef with the guy, but <laughs> I bet I can figure and it I'm out. And I'm kidding, we love each people. other. They're like oh, brothers, okay. man. Yeah, we're like brothers. That's why it was fine us spitting on each other. Brothers are <laughs> well, get up here, man. We'd love to have you. You'd kill it. Well, I might Both. drink again. Might drink those uh, <laughs> espresso martinis. Could you probably find me some? I got you. Are you back on the back on the wagon? You're bad. No, I'm episode. not going. You're bad. I can't believe you dude. would give me espresso martinis. Okay, Grant, let's get the next person. <laughs> Virgin martinis. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, bye. See you, dude. Bye. Yeah, that's how I've been tricking people recently. Yeah, tell if they're your real friend. Yeah. If they say, yeah, I'm always like, oh, get me a beer. Let me drink it in the bathroom. I was saying that to somebody on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was like, yeah, just give me a beer. Give it to me in the bathroom. <laughs> and they were thinking about it. <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh, yeah, because I was being real serious. And then I start thinking, wait, am I actually going to drink this beer in the bathroom? <laughs> you tricked, your, you <laughs> yeah, tricked yourself tricked a little myself. bit. <laughs> <laughs> the bit went too far. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was about to. <laughs> no, not real, but mate, no, but yeah, <laughs> kind of. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was telling uh, last night. I did the the door guy show at Mothership, and I was I was riffing, and I used to do this thing. I'd get really fucked up, and I'd I'd look in the mirror, and I would I would see what the scariest face I can make was. We, we, we saw. Is. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that. It bit? was so funny. Oh, I thought it's a funny idea. Yeah, I know when you're fucked up, and <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. look in the mirror. And you freak yourself out in your eyes. You're like, those aren't my eyeballs. Yeah, you're like, oh, too scary. That's too scary. I, yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> that was so funny. funny. Oh, good. Yeah. It was like me laugh. Charlie, I didn't see it. I saw some of your, did you do it last night? Yeah. It was, it was so funny. <laughs> that sounds funny. Charlie, hey. have you ever been on hallucinogens or something and looked at your face in the mirror? And you trying to scare yourself? I have. <laughs> but it gets too scary. I have. Friend. Yeah, coming up on uh, four years sober, though, so it's been a little while. Oh, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> so what? Sober from ever? Do you drink caffeine? I drink caffeine. Nice. Do you? Yeah, do- that's that's my drug of choice. Oh, cool. That's good. What kind of machine? What kind of coffee? Where are you at your place right now? Got a Keurig. Yeah, I'm in uh, Dallas. Oh, nice. What kind of coffee setup you got? You Let's got a pretty good it. setup. Let's see it. So I got the Nespresso. Shout out to the uh, Zen Rewards. 
No, we're not. Hold on. We can't do any Zen stuff. I'm currently trying to stop again and I'm being pretty successful, but it's man, stay away from Zens and don't put too. Ooh, look, that's a fun. What is that? A little uh, espresso Ooh, machine? Is that's I, I got all the pods right there. My man, my Ooh. king. So I was doing the Zens for like two years yeah. without knowing the rewards. And well, I could have had a fucking TV. <laughs> wait, do we but get, get a TV from this? Wait, hold on. How do you, what you do you would do? Have do you so save your packages? <laughs> on the back of every Zen is a reward code. <laughs> and you can, you all they have start. a store and you can get like that's prizes. Funny. You're going to have to get back on them. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have yeah, your, I was doing it for like on two you? years before I found uh, out. No, I don't. I don't have any. That's wonderful. So you got the Nespresso machine from the Zen Rewards. What's like the highest reward? Like a television or is it you, like a car? Yeah. What is there? You can get like a 65 inch uh, <laughs> smart TV <laughs> for like 10,000 points. Damn, what's and a what's he, a package? How many points is a package? It's fifteen points per can. Uh, so you have to you would like have had th- so many. Damn, you have, well, you good have to do to, the math. Good to know. Are you still on the Zens? <laughs> yeah, I haven't kicked, been able to kick that one. You got any in your mouth right now? Let's take a peek at your. I gums. don't actually. I don't. <laughs> what's your kind? You like? Show me your gums. <laughs> I'm the spear, spearmint guy. Okay, spearmint's good. I highly recommend. I love peppermint. Me too. I'm more of a peppermint. And I get that. I don't know if, don't know if you'll remember this, William, but uh, I gave you one at the mothership. I had it. I was sitting in the front and I had it sitting in front of me when your parents were there. Yes, I remember that. I forgot that yeah. was you. I didn't put the face with the Zen package, but yes, I remember now. I was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah. It's a bad habit. That's a very bad habit to think that I need them before I go on stage. Yeah. That's yeah. the worst thinking I need a couple in my mouth right now. And thank you for giving me that, Charlie. You're more than welcome. I was honored. You're a good friend. Saved my, it saved me, I think, a little bit. My parents were there. I was already horrified. And then I needed that Zen. And you happen to have it out there. You don't work for yeah. Zen, do you? No. I wish I did, though probably get a discount although they just had a cyber monday deal so i bought like i think like 50 packs cyber online <laughs> yeah sense. that's it, hilarious you could get like five packs for 18 dollars online well, a steal. what so I just, that is a steal yeah, yeah i'm trying to quit i don't need to be hearing this what do you just go I'm to zen.com Dude, zen.com they've got the rewards they've What's got the deals. shipping like yeah, what's shipping Free on a shipping. five pack? Free shipping. Free shipping. <gasps> My God, this is a dream site. Well, yeah, you, you have to spend like eighty dollars and you get free shipping, but it's well, worth it. To- <laughs> it's not exactly. That's yeah. not what we agreed to. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. One package though is seven or eight bucks, or one thing of them right. is seven or eight at bucks. the gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll save money in the long run, but you know you'll get Casey's way more for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, get me a log of Zens for Krimi. I yeah. know. I used to do Marlboro rewards on the on the packs, and they'd mail you all kinds of great coupons. I don't think they're allowed to do it anymore. But yeah, you used to get you could get like Marlboro jackets and hats. And I remember cool. seeing them. I see them on eBay sometimes yeah. when I'm searching for random <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Marlboro and, and Camel had stuff. I don't even smoke, but I think I signed up at a club to get like a friend a free pack mm-hmm. of cigarettes. And for my birthday, they would send me like. Cute um, bottle openers, yeah. a card of de- cards of deck with their logo. They would send me cute <laughs> Chris, uh, birthday gifts every year. Shouts out to Philip Morris. We like them over there. Yeah. It's still a good stock to buy. I don't think they had a great Q3, but mm-hmm. Philip Morris still, I think, a strong stock yeah. for this year. Q2, Q2 was good enough uh, to kind of keep a buoy Q3, so it's, it's totally stable right now. Q4 looking up. What are what are you guys doing to gear up for Q1 next year? Woo! God. Any what, tips? What aren't we doing? I am I'm thinking T bills. I'm thinking T bills are going to be a very smart move. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. war bonds. War bonds and junk mail. <laughs> 
Ooh, yeah. junk mail. I know I've heard junk mail is coming up. I heard. You get those things all the time. My <laughs> P.O. <laughs> box. It's like, what is this? A junk mail? But what is even going on? Yeah. If you open it, I get six bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's some thing they're doing yeah. yeah i think they're putting mixing in six dollars with some of the junk mail so people are thinking q1 junk mail well, totally I, through the roof yeah. and we're it might be a good idea to start reselling the zens now that you know you can get them so cheap online that's true yeah, yeah i could just walk around the apartment complex just <laughs> knocking on doors seeing if anybody needs any peppermint zen <laughs> I need six milligram peppermint scents. <laughs> <laughs> that William, could be how's smart. Your, how's your health? Ooh, oh my gosh. Um, Are you doing I, better? Yeah, and we discovered Kellogg's all brand buds. <laughs> I had four legitimate shits yesterday, Charlie. Um, wow. So highly recommend. Yeah, I had a bunch of stuff up in me or something. Um, that's great but yeah totally recommend all brand i'm feeling pretty i'm feeling a little <laughs> i'm feeling pretty good after that that's awesome yeah, i'm feeling a little that light in my loafers after that i mean i'm feeling woo. <laughs> i've been seeing a lot of stuff online about the water fast have you guys seen those the 72 hour water fast apparently it uh, reduces cancer and dementia and Alzheimer's by some crazy amount if you do it. Yeah, it'll flush the cancer right out. And, I, and I, there's a second, <laughs> there's a second tier to it. It's called the cabbage bath, and I've been doing the that. Cabbage. So you kind of wash off the cabbage in the bath with you, like it's a doll or like a toy boat. That sounds interesting. I would yeah. be open for something like that if it got terminal. And so what is a 72-hour yeah. – what does that mean? You don't drink water for 72 hours? You o you only drink water. You don't huh? eat food. That's a deal breaker. Yeah, I thought if it was you don't drink water for 72 hours, I would be down. But, oh, it's yeah. you only drink water. I'd get sick of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even really like water to begin with. I'd have to have it cold water, warm water. I have to mix it up. Yeah. yeah, mix it up a little. Yeah. Ice cube. Ooh, ice cubes. Ice yeah, cube can sandwich. you have ice cubes, I wonder? Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Yeah, it's water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you if you don't. sparkling water, too. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Tell Charlie I'm so sorry. I can't hear anything. Charlie, Charlie William's Charlie, disconnected, my man. I'm disconnected. Bear with us. Oh, man. <laughs> Grant fell down. He, he hit the off switch. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Grant fell down like twice. Don't put this on me. <laughs> Do you need help? I want to give it? Grant a shout out for letting me in. Thank you, Grant. Yeah, no problem. It's very nice of him. Is he accepting? Is Grant still taking tips? Yeah. Did you give him some money? We were trying to nip <laughs> that mean, in the he, bud. <laughs> he asked me for ten grand. I gave him five. That's a good deal. That's Grant, you yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. He was messaging me, dude. He wanted ten grand. That's a ton of money, Grant. <laughs> Grant, yeah. you son of a bitch, and you're wearing those fucking basketball shorts <laughs> on with shit stand, stains all over them. I like Jason yeah, I mean, can't call I, me out on that either. <laughs> like Jason Kidd. Yeah. At least he was reasonable. At least he was reasonable with five. Yeah, for That's sure. Not too bad. Yeah, it's no. We'll talk to he him. He told him it's first come, first serve. And it is interesting. No, honestly, Charlie, thank you for letting us know about this. I'm stopping... I'm trying to stop. I looked at my mouth when Florida lost to Florida State the other night. I'm feeling low because it's a giant <laughs> rivalry game. And I go into the bathroom. And I'm like, oh, let me look at my gums on the bottom of my with my mouth. And it did not look good. I'm going to be very honest, Charlie. It looked bad. Is that right? From so, the Zens? Yeah, 100%. But I always have the two six milligram in my mouth just literally all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm having, I'm not doing that no more. So my, my dentist told me to just move it around. She said, Hey, just, <laughs> if you go top, right, try top left. You know, if you do top left, try bottom, right, just mix it up a little bit. So that will help. <laughs> That'll help. She said, yeah. So you're not destroying just one part. Can you get, still get cancer? Does she think you can get cancer? <laughs> well, I, yeah, they were worried that my gums might be fucked up. Be pre-cancerous. 
not cancerous. They said it's receding. <laughs> what happens if you have the receding gums? Uh, that's a good question. But it's not. I think good. it can. I think it can lead to like heart disease and all kinds of stuff. But it's not. It's not favorable by any means. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's good to know to at least just switch it around in my mouth. Switch it around. Yeah, that's what uh, the dentist told me. Okay. Well, we'll listen to that. Casey does his face like, you know, in the baby dolls, they can blink and one of their eyes gets stuck. Oh, my gosh. Like a Christmas <laughs> baby doll with the eyes. And the eyes got stuck Hi, when Santa. it blinked. Yeah. Casey, can we see that bandage again? <laughs> yeah, Charlie Casey, Luck. Is your, is your forehead all right? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Wait, hold oh, on. I'm go. trying to get to it. <laughs> Oh, I love there you. we go. Casey got pierced. one of those piercings. You know how that, like the rappers get the piercings right up there. Casey got a piercing earlier. Sist by Zen. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like two hundred points on the reward site. <laughs> I've been doing Zen patches, so uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. Slap them on. It's a dermis thing. Goes right through the dermis. So right to the dome. <laughs> Make you very sick. Yeah, it's right by the cerebral cortex. So they seep right in there. Oh, have, gives you a nice. Pose. Have y'all heard about the hockey players that will like cut themselves and put the pouches on beneath their skates? <laughs> no, <Zen pouches? laughs> no, I swear that's a real thing. So they cut themselves and they put the Zen pouches they, in the they, in the <laughs> cut. They they cut their foot a little bit and they put the pouch in their foot so they can get the the buzz while they're playing. Why can't they have it in their mouth? Their I know. You don't need your mouth for hockey. I think this was before Zen, so they would put dip down there. Oh, okay. damn. That's hardcore. That is hardcore. Yeah. I would imagine, that? yeah, you, Zen probably uh, fixed that problem for them. Did you see that video so, recently of the hockey player getting his throat slit Yeah, and dying? Really? You didn't see that? N A NHL? No, I didn't see that. Uh, Some was, English yeah. hockey league or something. You didn't see that one? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look it up. I didn't see it. Google it right? It's bad. They Google charged the guy it. with yeah. manslaughter, and he's like, it's not my fault to have a sharp skate. I know. The video's kind yeah. of crazy, though. Yeah, I've seen it. Ugh. Was it intentional? Well, you be the judge. Look it up and tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'll check, sure. I'll yeah, just do English that. Hockey League death, death. Throat slit, uncut, full video, HD. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get HD. You can type that in. I think sometimes you have 4K HD. You He's can... typing it in right. Are you out of, you're out of computer? I'm at my computer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's just see what you think about it. Yeah. It's. We'll, we'll do a reaction video. Yeah. Perfect. Let's see what you think. I mean, Real it's. Real or fake. Yeah. Oof, it's something else. Then search House of Highlights Gilbert Arenas drops 60 points. <laughs> Real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we didn't. laughs> That's a great video. Agent Zero. He's really underrated. <laughs> he drops how many points? 60. Damn. That's yeah. a bunch of points in a single game. Yeah. Hibachi. That's what he used to say when he would shoot. <laughs> it's <true. laughs> Hibachi would. <laughs> we all know Gilbert Arenas. Well, what are you thinking? Is yeah, it are you crazy? seeing it? Is it real or is it fake? I'm trying to find it. They scrubbed it from the web. Might have been scrubbed. I'm on, my, I'm on my work computer. I might get flagged or something. Yeah, maybe you don't. Yeah, I don't maybe know. Don't. If, yeah. I, yeah, I don't want to take up all this time looking for it. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Do the Gilbert Arena yes. drop 60. <laughs> it's about an eight-minute video, so we'll, we'll hang tight. Y'all hang, hang in there, right? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. It's a couple days after Thanksgiving. We're not, I'm, I've been chilling. <laughs> We're just cool. cooling, <laughs> letting it all digest. I was, yeah. What are y'all doing for Christmas? Any fun plans? Uh, Santa's cr Christmas village. Yeah, there's a Santa's Christmas village. We're That'll all going. Fun. We're Grant, all going. Grant's kids too. Yeah, Grant's kids He's are coming. Going. Grant's not coming. <laughs> he came last year. He's not allowed this year. Yeah. He kept trying well, to scare people. Yeah, he was like scaring. It's like, dude, this is not Halloween. This is a haunted <laughs> house. It's a Christmas village. <laughs> yeah, just wrong vibes, wrong energy. Yeah. <laughs> and his wife got mad. I mean, it was a whole to do. Yeah. We were having fun. It was almost a Christmas. Yeah. They were having a real row. Yeah, really going at it. <laughs> I would imagine there's no shortage of presents at Grant's house this year. 
No, not with that. 5,000. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah Grant, yeah. you son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't even get over that one. Pay to play. <laughs> Pay to play. <laughs> Everybody's got a price. That's right. <laughs> That's what the junk mail people are saying. Yeah. That's their saying this year yeah. for quarter one. Again, yeah, junk mail's totally war, war bonds. War bonds. Yeah. Six dollars. You open it, I get six bucks flat fee. Yeah, I mean, things are that's ramping that's, up. That's a good deal. Yeah, it's a great deal. Cost me only eight or eight or nine bucks to send them out. Really? Yeah, I think I'm losing money. That's almost surprising. I didn't know eight or nine bucks. I didn't even know if they'd be higher or lower or. You're not doing it in bulk? I should do it in bulk. I do them one by one. Yeah, that's where you're it's messing like, up. It's yeah. like cold calls. It's just a shot in the dark, but yeah. It's been paying off. It, it's about, I'm up. I'm cool. up four or 500. So cool. Well, when in Rome, everybody's got a price. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Well, very nice to talk to you. Thanks so much for the inside scoop on uh, Zen. Yeah, I'm glad I could help out. <laughs> yeah, and watch that video later, though. Yeah, will do. All right, guys. I'll see you all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. There he is. There he is for the Wizards. Look, Bryant can't even guard his ass. Nah, he was on... He was on one that day, then he brought a gun into the locker room, and I don't think he ever played again. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah, it's on his Wikipedia. Yeah. He had a gun in the locker room, and he pulled it out on a player, and they were like, please don't do that. Yikes. Yeah. Don't be bringing guns around in a locker room. No. Um, all right. Well, that was fun. What was Is that about? I think that's about time. Yeah. It's about time. Do you guys want one more? Yeah. Why did they tip you? Would they to give you yeah. some money? What'd you charge them? <laughs> Guys, let's let's bring this one more in. I think it'll be uh, like a very lucrative guest. If it's an oil baron, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would need a, at least a little. We need a little. Just of that a cut, right? dude. Sixty or seven. Cut us in a little. We'll see. Cut us in a little bit. I mean, Gator's shaking in here. Gator needs Hello? a sweater. Hello? Gilbert? Gilbert? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you speaking with Gilbert Arenas right now? Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello. How are you? Good, good. Just hanging out. I didn't know if I was going to get brought in, but here we are. He didn't know. You, made, you just made the cut. Barely. Awesome. Just made Buzzer it. Peter. Buzzer, oh How's your guys' day going? Buzzer Peter, Gilbert Arenas. Ah, uh, Buzzer. Yeah, are you are you a Gilbert Arenas fan? Are you pretty familiar with his stuff? Yeah, he was on the Wizards, right? He was. Yep. yep. You're pretty cool. Okay, that's about all I know. <laughs> <laughs> we like you. <laughs> what are those plants? I love the plants. I love the foliage around. Where are you at your place? Yeah, I'm at my place. Um, you guys want to guess where I am, or? Sure. Is that a threat? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Woo. Um, <laughs> Washington. What's on the um, map? No, east East Coast. Okay. East Coast. Um, you're in Boston. Providence. Wow, Casey, you got it. No way. Oh my gosh, Casey is really good at that. <laughs> Holy crap! Really? He's always big, looking at. I'm maps. a big fan of both of you guys. Yeah. You're really in, in Providence? Providence? Yes, sir. Eat a, right. eat a lollipop. Here, Casey, or what? <laughs> I get He's... a lollipop when I'm a really good boy. So. Yes. <laughs> he got the guess. Casey got two lollipops from the doctor earlier. Yeah, oh, good. Just removed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you were curious what was on his forehead, yeah, he got something. Yeah. I was oh, is that the cyst? It's gone? Queen cyst? It, took, it was a queen cyst. Oh, queen cyst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a picture earlier. Casey, show me a picture. Yeah, we're not going to show it on the podcast because it's pretty girfler, but it was mm. a little stinky little piece of white and a big piece of red meat. Did Ooh. it smell? I didn't smell it. I wish I could have, but they dropped it in a bowl of alcohol. You should sell that image to a tabloid. Yeah, sell it to a tabloid. <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. <laughs> 
Local hero, Casey Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Went under the knife today. <laughs> <laughs> and they got this out of his body. Uh, looks that's like national news. That's big news. Deeply. That's the news people care about. I think. So how is it in Providence right now? Is it freezing? Is it it's hot? It's freaking cold. It's cold. It was actually flurrying this morning when I was leaving the supermarket. A little bit of snow flurries. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. This guy yeah, makes you think of Christmas. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes you think of Christmas. Whoa, you have a and you have a Christmas tree in Providence? What? Yeah. That's like a Christmas song. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas trees in Providence. <laughs> I think that's a Steely Dan song. Well, that's so nice, and I like that you have the uh, the colored lights versus the white lights. They're actually the white lights. Okay. Huh? I saw- Do it again. <laughs> yeah, let's see again. All Where'd right. See- there's a is little that bit a different of- tree? There's no green? <laughs> yeah, is that a God different that tree? Is that a different <laughs> tree? Are you pranking us right now? Are you AI? I is really, your name? I have two trees set up in the <laughs> Is it Hal or AI? <laughs> He's able to randomly generate whatever he thinks of. <laughs> Wait, can we see it one more time? It's going to look different. All right, one more time. This is I the last swear time. Okay. God, if it looks different. That's a, not even the same tree. That is yeah, it has a different thing on Did top. Did it get taller? I think it's like five times bigger <laughs> or smaller. I can't. It's pay by the foot. It's the six foot tree. Pay by the foot. So how much is a six foot tree? <laughs> Ten dollars a foot. They're going for this year. Dollars yeah. a foot. Cool. Or yeah, yeah. Ten dollars a foot. That's yeah. In Providence. In Providence. Crazy. That's, yeah, that's not what... enough. Yeah, it should be more different. <laughs> yeah, it should be more. <laughs> it should be more than that. I had to travel 30, 35 minutes outside the city, so. To the Home Depot? To get the tree? No, it's cut, cut your own. Oh! Well, yeah, we sweet. like to do the cut your own and make a little afternoon out of it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anything like that's around here. It's too hot around here. Yeah. No trees. trees don't even grow in this part yeah, of the country. Yeah, it gets, it's like Maybe a... Maybe like Christ, Christmas cactus. Yeah, it's like a lot of Christmas cactuses and like On a tarantulas. <laughs> it's like so scorpions everywhere. Hanukkah yeah, shrubs. Hanukkah bush. Yeah, Hanukkah bushes everywhere. <laughs> scorpions, uh, dust devils, <laughs> dust storms. It's really weird down here. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I Is wasn't here at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of yeah, hundred. Uh, it's like a hundred ten. Yeah, with the heat index. Grant, that's why Grant's wearing basketball shorts. Uh, Classic Grant. I know, stains all over it. Grant, come on. You have to look more professional next time. Yeah, I mean, especially it, if you run into Papa John. <laughs> yeah, it's like, did you get those from Papa John? Yeah. That's honestly what I was thinking, but I was too afraid to ask you, Grant. It's like, what did he just give you some He's like, put these on today? Yeah, it's legit. Say, none of your business. They say PJ on the bottom there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the PJ logo. Grant signed into a contract where he, Papa John gets to pick his outfits out every day. <laughs> it's getting weird over there. Anything for a buck, right, Grant? <laughs> wow! Yeah, did you pay Grant? Be honest with us, please. Did you pay him? Me to get yeah. on? Yeah, I paid him to wear those basketball shorts. <laughs> I said you must wear these to work, and He's the guys are gonna hate so it. So much money, Grant. Y'all already knew each other. Yeah, why do you think he's on? <laughs> Grant, we talked about this. Yeah, I mean, bullshit. We, y'all already knew talk. each other. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what Casey keeps Grant. complaining about. Well, the show's getting less. You know, less I have a organic. vacation home in yeah. Providence. <laughs> it feels forced. Is it forced? <laughs> Grant. I just want to say I'm a huge fan of both you guys. I actually. <laughs> I, I, sorry to derail. I'm just. It's crazy that I'm on here talking to you guys. It's crazy. I watch the show every week. Casey, I'm a huge fan. Oh, thanks, man. William, I love you. I can't get enough of your stuff. And I just. It's, it's wild to be on here. Well, thank you, sir. Well, it's so sweet you called, and it's nice. I think you're the first person from Providence we have spoken to. Up to I feel like point. you guys get a lot of Southern callers, Southern and like California and Arizona. Not a lot of Northeastern people. 
Yeah, that's something we're working on. There's a lot of, there's a disconnect for some reason with people on the East Coast. It's, I don't know what's going on up there, but it's yeah. getting pretty, it's serious. We're trying to get the mm. word out. Yeah, but it's. It's an untapped market for you guys. You just got to get in there and, well, you know. It's easier said than done. I mean, mm -hmm. I've, I've tried to get in there before. It's, they don't even let me off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so literally and figuratively they, they i don't no. even get off the bus you're going it's, back <laughs> yeah it's like what 30 fucking hours ago yeah back to texas so i'm not doing that again on a mega bus <laughs> uh but well Al, it's wonderful to talk to you i love that you have that tree that's very festive it seems wonderful in there yeah it's a very fragrant tree too it smells really good um, i like the tree yeah, I love smell. I love different smells. We always have candles going. Pumpkin, turkey. Yeah, I love the mm -hmm. tree. It looks beautiful. Thanks, Casey. No problem. What do you got? Do you guys have any plans for the holidays coming up, or are you just kind of taking it day Santa's by day? Christmas Village. Yeah, just a place oh. called Santa's Christmas Village. We'll probably yeah. hit it up a day or two before actual Christmas. That's um, nice. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. What? 12 hours. Yeah, you get free entry if you bring a to Toys for Tots. If you stay Ooh. the longest, you get to keep a small present. <laughs> yeah, yes. you get to pick a present. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> you, can. You, can. you can. You guys you made it pretty out. close last year. <laughs> we did. We stayed up, but then we fell asleep in the armchair. And then they went and then they <laughs> gently wake you up. They're like, okay, get out. Come you on. fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's against the rules. You know the rules. All right, Take a all bunch right. of Ambien and see how long you can stay up at Santa's Christmas Village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. I never did that. I, I had buddies who would do that. The Ambien. What do you? What do you just start tripping? Yeah, you start I've dreaming. never done it. I've only heard about the lore of it. Kind of dream with your eyes open. It's pretty wild. Creepy. Yeah, you're like acting out your dreams in real life. So you're like, you know, like eat a bunch of butter or <laughs> you do a bunch of weird stuff and you don't remember it. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> One time I woke up with socks on both my hands like a little kid. Mm. No. Are you kidding? What? So he wouldn't scratch his face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and my bed was covered in printer paper, ripped up printer paper. And then I woke up with socks. On my I swear to God. Oh what my was God. I doing? <laughs> yeah. It's like a, a day in kid. the office. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I was like trying to do some business. <laughs> <laughs> All the papers like ripped up into like a million pieces. It was, it was like a dog got into the room, but it was just me. <laughs> Do you think you're ripping it up with the socks on your hands? Or? I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> Damn. Who knows, man? Cool. Well, wonderful to talk to you. Have a wonderful Christmas in Providence. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nice to talk to you guys. Have a good day. You Thank too. You. Bye. You too. Bye. Yeah, the last thing he said, that's how I knew he was AI. That that goodbye, you could tell. Something was off. Thank you for having me. Have a good day. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, they Come have. on, man. Even Gator woke up a little. She was like, who what? is this? Is that a human? Yeah, yeah she thinks it's weird. Is that another dog? What is? What was that? Uncanny Valley. Yep. Something's off. Cool. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was good. That was funny. Yeah, we got the guy and his... <laughs> he was leaving the house pretty fast and then got in his RV. I know. Making a break for it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. 
Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.